No names for any men. Image of Earth Yellow. I think she'll look at the last one agreeing. This retirement of Catholic because the court can suck her to Rocky and you're going to defend. I guess can shut in a complaint is because you're the father you're two weeks has. You know, the end of the Christian year. No names for any men. Good morning, members. Um, you're all very welcome to um, our AGM today. First item, I'll call on Mr. Kilfeather to read the code for proceedings for today's meeting. Could hear the members. The National Standard Operating Guidance for Attendance at Council Meetings provides that all in attendance be informed at the start of the meeting of the COVID-19 control measures in place. Just like to draw your attention to a few issues. Each person attending this meeting in person should have completed a COVID declaration form before entering this room. These forms will also serve as a record of attendance for contact tracing purposes if required. This meeting room has been prepared in accordance with the standard operating guidance. Face coverings must be worn by all attendees when entering and leaving the room. There should be no congregating in the building before or after the meeting. A one-way system is in place for entering and exiting the room. Exit will be via the side door. In compliance with the recommendations in the standard operating guidance, the meeting time will not exceed one hour 55 minutes. Attendees must adhere at all times to the two metre physical distancing and follow the public health advice in relation to hand hygiene and respiratory etiquette. A response plan is in place in the event that an attendee at the meeting feels unwell or is displaying possible COVID-19 symptoms. An isolation room has been provided and if anyone feels unwell during the meeting, you should alert myself or Kevin and you will be escorted to the isolation room. Thank you, Claire. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kilfeather. I want to welcome all uh, members who are here this morning and <clears throat> also to welcome all the people who have uh, joined us virtually as well and some people who are in the, the outer rooms here. You're all very welcome to this morning's meeting. As this is my um, last meeting as Cahirlik, I might just um, take a few minutes of your time just to say a few words, please. Um, members, when I had the privilege of being elected at our last AGM in June 2020, the prevalence of COVID-19 was very much on all our minds. The impact of the COVID pandemic was the challenging backdrop to all our activities in 2020 and 2021, as the requirements to safeguard the health of the public and all our staff informed our work programme and the delivery of our services over the course of the year. When the Taoiseach addressed the nation on the steps of government building in March 2020, there was an immediate realisation that our country was facing an unprecedented threat never seen before in this country. Severe restrictions were introduced, new health and safety guidelines were published, and a range of supports were introduced to keep us all safe. Sligo County Council's first major initiative in response to the pandemic was to establish a community response forum which harnessed the expertise, energy and commitment of local agencies and voluntary groups. It was inspirational to witness the innovative and creative manner in which people right across our county worked to support the vulnerable and the isolated in our community. Our council had to reappraise the way that we did our business, from reprioritizing our work program to finding ways to hold our meetings in a safe and professional manner. Over the last 16 months, we have held our meetings off-site in three locations, Knocknerey Arena at the IT, Sligo Park Hotel, and Sligo Regional Sports Centre. In recent months, we have been able to host our meetings in our offices here at County Hall with the hybrid format, allowing members to attend virtually. The streaming of the meetings on our website is also the first for this local authority and I want to thank our IT department for this facility as it opens up our meetings to a wider audience. The fact that we were able to continue to hold our meetings and transact our business was only possible with the full cooperation from you, the councillors and all our staff. As meetings prior to COVID-19 were normally four to five hours long, our meetings were curtailed to a maximum of one hour 55. In adhering to government guidelines, I have been restricted in my role as Cahirlock with COVID restrictions and was unable to attend 
or host many events during the year. Yet, I was fortunate to witness exemplary achievements across a wide range of community endeavour. First and foremost, we have to acknowledge the courage and resilience of our frontline workers across all sectors, who have made enormous sacrifices throughout this pandemic. They have put their own welfare at risk to protect others, and this is something we will never forget their contribution for. I have referred to many volunteers whose solidarity tirelessly assisted the work of the Community Response Forum. In many instances, they were the main point of contact for many elderly and isolated people. While COVID-19 has understandably been the dominant news story of the last year, it was heartening also to be able to welcome an unprecedented level of investment into County Sligo. This has included funding for major capital road schemes, public realm projects such as O'Connell Street and Stephen Street Plaza, flagship tourism projects such as the Yates Trail and the opening of the National Mountain Biking Centre at Kalani, one of the biggest tourist attractions along the Western Corridor. The new N4 Road, which is due to open in coming weeks, which is long overdue and will have a transformative effect on Sligo and will attract investment and jobs. I would like to pay tribute to all involved in bringing this piece of infrastructure to our county. But I have to remember especially all the people and their families whose tragic lives were lost on that most dangerous stretch of road. It was great honour to be part of the opening of the Western Bypass Road, along with the Mayor, Councillor Rosalind O'Grady, which was going to be of an enormous benefit to the industrial, commercial and social impact of this region which is greatly complemented by the new major intersection at the new junction layout of N4 and 15 Duck Street. I want to pay enormous credit to the excellent road design team, planners and the executive of Sligo County Council for their work on these projects to an exemplary high standard. I'm delighted to see progress and movement of the feasibility study on the cycle and walkway from Colooney right through Gulani, Mulnabrina, Tubakuri, Curry, and Balahi, and look forward to more exciting rural tourism projects which will boost small businesses and bring much needed jobs to this region. One of my highlights was to see the turning on of the 10 million euro investment of the new water treatment plant at Loch Talt, which removed the boiled water notice from over 12,000 homes as it removed the deadly threat of cryptosporidium, which was a major health concern to young and old. We are also overseeing continued investment in our housing programme and are confident of delivering our target of 384 dwellings under the five-year housing capital programme 2017 to 2021. This injection of major funding will underpin the future progress and will provide us with an economic boost and stimulus for job creation. As Sligo positions itself to fulfil its growth, the central potential in accordance with government national planning framework designation. We are working in partnership with local key agencies to see the delivery of our county and our region. And I also want to pay tribute to the people and the staff who have started our new um, Sligo 2030 uh, project, which is out in the public domain now for um, contributions. In recent weeks, as restrictions have eased off, I've had the privilege of presenting a Pride of Place award to a local a Connery Mulnabrina Community Enhancement Committee, an award that is well deserved in recognition of their outstanding work over many years. I've also, also had the privilege in the last few weeks of visiting some second level schools and have spoken with principals and staff and complimented them on the role they have played in helping our students over the trying time of COVID pandemic. I also visited in the last week two newly opened businesses, which is great to see in this region. I also want to reflect this morning on the people who have passed away during my term as Cahirlock and who have served this council with great distinction, including former councillors Paul Conmey and Patsy Barry, and we were all saddened to learn over the weekend of the passing of former councillor Porrick Branley. I also want to include the passing of our former county manager, Paul Byrne. In conclusion, I want to thank our local media 
who have during COVID been a great support and connection for so many people in our county. I want to thank you, my fellow council colleagues, for your cooperation and help in my term as Cahirlock. I've tried to be fair to all at our meetings and accommodate as many speakers as possible in the limited meeting times available to us. I want to thank the executive and staff for their assistance to me. And a special word of thank you to the ladies in corporate services who have been a great help. And I especially want to thank Kevin Colreevy. Kevin has been a great support, guidance and help to me and was always at the end of the phone. And I know certainly he has made my job a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable. In conclusion, I want to wish you all a good day today at our AGM and I want to wish the very best of good luck to the incoming Cahirlock and last Cahirlock and thank them for um, their work in this County Council. Thank you. Councillor Clare. I'd like to pay tribute to you for your service to the, the county and the elegant and professional job you've done over the year. As you have outlined yourself, it was a very difficult year to go and meet people. Uh, it's an onerous job and a job that you have done to the highest standards. Uh, I know that you had the support of the executive. On a personal level, you're a gentleman we were elected the same day to this chamber. We have worked extremely well in our electoral area of uh, Bellymo, Tubercurry and West Ligo. And long may you continue in your role. And I have no doubt that there's higher excellence available to you in the near future. Thanks very much, Cahirlock. Thank you, Councillor Clark. Councillor Walsh. Uh, thanks, Cahirlock. I want to echo what uh, Councillor Clark has said. Uh, I want to thank you um, and your family, class, Michael um, and Aaron. Um, for the 12 months, for the last 12 months. Um, it's been an unprecedented time, uh, particularly as Cahirlock uh, of this county. I want to thank you for the leadership you've shown. Uh, I want to echo what you've said uh, in relation to the unprecedented funding that has come into the county over the last five, six years, uh, and uh, long may it continue. Um, thank you uh, for your service over the last 12 months. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Walsh. Councillor McSharry. Uh, Dara, uh you had indeed a very difficult year with the pandemic. However, I have to say you did an excellent job in very challenging circumstances. You discharged your duties as Cahirlick in a very decent, honest, fair, and I have to say a very diplomatic way, which is a very strong indication of the politician you were, ensuring none of us felt we didn't get a fair chance to address meetings. And also, Dara, I have to say, when needed on occasions, when matters got a little heated, you did show an iron fist inside your velvet glove. I hope you, Dara, Colette, and indeed your family have a very well-earned and deserved break this summer. You can look back on a job very well done. Thank you, Councillor McCherry. Councillor Gilroy. Excuse me. Again, to echo what everybody else has, has said, it was my honour to serve as your last career look. Um, I wasn't needed too many times, um, but because of the year that was in it, you've done excellent service in the last 12 months to the people of Sligo. Um, you've, you've, you've always been fair to everyone in the chamber, um, whether it was here or at the meetings elsewhere. Um, I think uh, I, 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 uh, I rarely had to be called on, but uh, um, I hope you knew I was always there if you need it. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Gilroy. Councillor Gibbons. Go here, look. I have to say I really enjoyed this year coming back onto the council. As you know, I'm one year on the council since the last AGM when I first came on it. And realistically, it's a coming back in, it was felt with a wee bit of uncertainty and whatever. When I did come back in, I found working along with yourself and especially as in your position as chair and go here, look at the county council. It was very, they were very easy working along with you. I found myself that you were very fair in all decisions you made. You showed no favouritism to anybody within the council. You gave everybody the same um, attention as how to put it is um, you give everybody the, the attention that they deserved in the council, you give them that extra time to speak, you try to get the meetings as you have done on most occasions, got it through on time, very professionally and personally myself you'll be Mrs. Decaul Herlock and I think myself that you did 
for yourself, uh, your wife and your family, you do deserve the break that you'll be getting. You won't have as many of these functions to go to and uh, whatever. And look, uh, enjoy enjoy your time off. Thanks very much. Thank you, Councillor Gibbons. Councillor Bray? I hear, look, I wish to join with my colleagues in, in thanking you for your work over the past 12 months. It, it was a, a difficult year, as you pointed out, yet you managed to carry out your duties in a in a very efficient manner. Uh, and you particularly ensured that the business of the council was carried out, that the agendas were completed each month, uh, despite the time restraints due to the COVID uh, mm -hmm. protocols. And I don't think many councils in the country can, can make that type of claim. And that to a large extent was down to you. I know there was cooperation from all of the councillors, but you certainly ensured that the business was carried out. Uh, and as, as members said, you, you presided over the meetings in a very fair and balanced uh, manner. And I wish to thank you for your year in office. Thank you, Councillor Bree. Councillor O'Grady. Um, dear look, um, I too uh, would like to join with my colleagues in thanking you uh, for the year you have served as Cahirlach of Sligo County Council. You have shown leadership in a very difficult time, a very strange time uh, for all of us. But the time that you committed and gave uh, to the work of this council has been absolutely uh, fabulous. Yeah, you've shown great leadership um, and above all, you have been fair and decent decent uh, to a point where everybody felt they got time to say what they had to say and uh, you were you treated everybody in a very fair manner and got through difficult times in, in your own uh, very uh, pleasant uh, way. So I would like to uh, wish you and Colette and your family uh, a, a good rest. I'm sure you've you've had a busy year, a different year, but a busy year. And again, to thank you uh, for representing us and this county council in in an excellent manner over the past year. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Grady. Councillor Casserly. Thank you, um, Cahirlach, and congrats on your year. It was very difficult, as you stated, um, considering the pandemic, but you did, a, you did a really fantastic job and you did it professionally. You were always fair. Your patience was tried a few times, but uh, you managed to, uh, to keep everybody happy. You're always obliging and willing to listen. And just very recently, um, I, I noticed your, and I, I liked your new David, David uh, Hasselhoff image there on, on the beach with, the, with all your, um, your surfers there, your surf lifesavers. So I'm just wondering, are you going to go into a new job when you retire from, from the, the chair? But anyway, um, the best of luck. Uh, I'm sure Colette and the boys will be delighted to have you back and have a little bit more of your attention and a little bit more of your time. Well done on a great year. Thank you, Councillor Castle. Councillor Mullaney. Mm -hmm. look, I want to compliment you on what was an absolutely excellent year. I think you faced, as you said yourself, unprecedented difficulties and you invested an awful lot of time in ensuring that the meetings ran smoothly, that there was people to zoom in. I think you were fair and efficient. And it's very hard to be efficient and fair at the same time. You ran off the meetings, I think, in record time. And um, if you ever make it to, to Leinster House, there's no doubt you'd make an excellent Concordia. Thanks. Thanks, Councillor Mulaney. Councillor Gino Boyle. Um, thank you, Gaherlach. In strange times, you've represented your family, your community, and this council with great dignity. It's been an honour to serve the 12 months which is the chair and as everybody has says very fair um so i can only wish the next 12 months uh all the best for you thank you chair uh thank you councillor boyle uh councillor mcguire thank you Kier. look i'd like to join with my colleagues in congratulating you on a highly successful year um i'm sure the Colette and the boys will be delighted to have more of your attention now you've given so much of your time and dedicated yourself over the last year to this council and i know we're all very grateful for that um it has been said already but i think it is worth reiterating that we went from having full day meetings uh, and under your stewardship that was uh, curtailed to two hours one hours and 55 minutes um and 
within that, you still manage to give everybody fair time and hearing. And I do think that's a remarkable achievement. Um, and I wish you a successful year ahead. It'll hopefully be less trying and uh, maybe a little bit more time for yourself and the family. Thank you, Councillor McGuire. Councillor Baker. Congratulations uh, on Cahirlik on the job. Very well done. You were all of us there for everyone at the end of the phone. All was very fair. You did your community and your county proud. And I'd like to thank you above all for the way that you were able to negotiate and get the meetings back here in the chamber. And it really has meant a lot to everyone and compliment to yourself and council staff and councillors and everyone involved. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councillor Baker. Councillor Queenan. I just want to be a higher like to be associated with it. Words of congratulations to you on a fabulous year, a very difficult year. Uh, you chair the meetings brilliantly, and as Councillor Baker said, just light, we're delighted to be in the chamber here, and nothing like the chamber, to deal with the issues of our county. So I can remember this time last year, we had an exciting couple of hours before you got elected, but you made it, you didn't have it down. Or am I Thank you, Councillor Queen. Uh, Councillor Taylor. Thanks, Cahirlock. Um, look, I want to compliment yourself and, and Colette and the family on a great year as well. You were very organised and efficient during very different and difficult times. Um, you, you stepped up to the plate. You show great leadership and maturity. And as difficult as the year was, um, you have outlined how with hard work the rewards are there. So I want to congratulate you again. And there's absolutely no harm if you want to take a, a break for a few years and take it easy. But look at well done and congratulations. Thank you, Councillor Taylor. Councillor Connolly. Yes, Caught here. Look, I would like to uh, join with my colleagues here in congratulating you and thanking you for an excellent year under some severe time restraints over the last year. You've done an excellent job. And I'd like to wish you, your wife and family all the best and enjoy your break from it for the moment. Thanks, David. Thanks, Councillor Connolly. Councillor Tom Fox. Uh, thank you, Chair. Yeah, um, just to congratulate, congratulate you, uh, Dara, on doing a great job throughout the year. You were a good career, look. Um, a great career, look, should, should I say. And uh, I'd like to wish you and your family um, all the very best uh, for the future. Um, and I'm sure we'll see you back at some stage in higher office. And I'd be more than happy to be supporting you in that process. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Fox. Councillor Healy. Yes, I just want to support uh, you as well, Dara. You've done a great job. It's a misfortunate that COVID came in because I don't think the rest of the people around Sligo see how good of a worker you are and a good of a person you are. And you're, you did a great year as here as chairperson. I wish, want to wish you and your family the best. You'll be back working on the ground as usual. So thank you very much. Thanks, Councillor Healy. I think of everyone included in that. Just on my own behalf to thank all the my fellow colleagues for your, your support and your um, thanks uh, word uh, messages there. It was very easy working with with um, the group of councillors here who are very accommodating. Mr. Kilfeather. Go here, look, just on behalf of the executive and staff, I want to congratulate and thank you for your term of office. It has been, as the member said, a challenging year for you as Coherlock, most particularly in, in relation to the carrying on of council business with the restrictions with regard to the holding of meetings and so on. But you've certainly led and worked extremely well with the support of your colleagues on the council in continuing to get us through council business over the last 12 months and in a manner that has been very fair and very supportive to us all. Thank you very much, Dara. Thanks, Mr. Kilfeather. Okay, members, we'll move on to the, the main item of the our AGM today. Um, item number one, the election of Cahirlock. Councillor Baker. Um, I'd like to propose the name of Councillor Paul Taylor for Cahirlock. Paul is a huge leadership quality. He hails from Mount Heron, Gertrude, very proud Eastern Harps man. I'm delighted to 
see his family, Naomi, his wife, children, his mum and dad here today, and that's grand that they were able to come in. I know it's sad to be a lot more here in normal times, but it's a very proud day for the Taylor family. Uh, I suppose on a political end of it, myself and Paul, the first time we had any real battle it was a tough one because he knocked me out at convention. But saying that, we always have been the very best of friends. We all have worked very hard together. Uh, as a um, Sligo man, you did your Club Eastern Harps proud. You did your County Mighty proud. And I think you're one of these players. You were never what we call a speed merchant. But by God, you were always able to be the right spot, make the space for yourself and get those scores. And especially when you're a sharpshooter, you'll always get lots of abuse. But Paul was a man, the more you abused him, the better he got. And um, I know with those leadership qualities, you will make a, a, an excellent chair. I suppose we played slightly a different area. Um, you, you, I'd have been the Shamrock player Gales Club, we were always the enemies on the field, but um, once the game was over, we're the best of friends. And I think a moment that sticks proud in my mind, the most difficult time in your own community, and in the Eastern Hearts Club, we both, we won the minor final in 1998. We used the same dressing rooms. And that was a very special day for us all. It really, truly gave all the communities a real lift. And it took great resilience and great community that she did what she did. And I know on our level, it drove our lads on to do. It was the first time, fate works in mysterious ways, but it was the first time that a B final was played before a senior final. Uh, I think Torla Strand were involved with the other f in the senior final. That's why it couldn't be played. And I believe fate worked on that day. We we shouldn't have won the game, but kept plugging away. And we, know, we all know why. But I'd just like to nominate Paul. And you will definitely show sh true leadership. And you are a proud Sligo man. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Baker. Uh, Councillor Gilroy. Uh, I'd like to second uh, Councillor Paul Taylor for the position of Cahirlock. Um, I think Martin has summed him up there, his skills, not only on the pitch, but he has, he has brought those. And I have no doubt that uh, as Cahirlock, he will um, he'll always put the ball in the right place when it needs to be put in the right place. He'll, he'll, he'll put off the decent pass when it's needed. Um, so uh, I wish him the best of luck and I take the honour to second him. Thank you, members. Uh, Councillor Bray. Uh, Cahir, look, uh, following the last local elections, I gave my word that I would vote for Paul Taylor for the position of Cahir, look. And despite the fact that Councillor Taylor, Councillor Baker and Councillor Queen had broke their word at last year's annual meeting, I intend to keep my word today. As a child growing up in this community, I was taught by my parents that your word was your bond. Thank you. Councillor Haley. Yeah, uh, two, uh, Sinn Féin will be supporting Paul Taylor for this position. I want to wish Paul and his family the very best. It's a great opportunity to to be given to a uh, first person of Sligo and to have the support now of all the councillors in here as well. And as Councillor Bree says, we did enter a pact. Our word is our bond, and that's why we give the word today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Gino Boyle. Thank you, Chair. I'll also, also be supporting uh, Councillor Taylor since my time on this council. Councillor Taylor has been very uh, worthy of giving me some help, some um, timely phone calls when I needed them. We, we have a good working relationship, even though he didn't give me a call up for Sligo. I never let him live that down. But, um, I'll be supporting Councillor Taylor, and as Councillor Bree says, your word is your bond. Thank you. Councillor Gibbons. Go here, look. I want to be associated with the previous speakers in relation to uh, the nomination for Paul Taylor. Um, when I was being co-opted onto this council, one of the agreements that I gave to uh, our own convention was that the agreements that was made, that I would honour them and see them through, even though it wasn't me that uh, gave that commitment, but I still honoured it. I took on my predecessor's place within this council and I followed on with it and my understanding of it was when I came in that uh, 
those agreements made, and this time last year we seen that the agreements had been broke, but I will stick by the agreement that I stood. Thanks very much. Thank you, members. Um, have I any other nomination for the position of Cahirlock? If I haven't, I um, am delighted to congratulate my fellow colleague, Councillor Paul Taylor, as Cahirlock for the incoming year. Fellow councillors, see council executive members of staff, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honour and a privilege to be elected as Cahirlock of Sligo. I want to thank my fellow councillors, Councillor Baker, thank you for your kind words, and Councillor Gilroy for proposing and seconding me. And I want to thank the council members for their support. Um, and I would like to thank Councillor Bree and Councillor O'Boyle and, and, and Healy and Gibbons for their words um, as well. And I, I, I appreciate the fact that you are proud people and that you keep your word. And I appreciate um, what you've done here today as well. So thank you to everybody. I want to acknowledge and thank the people who elected me to Slide County Council, to thank my family, my mum and dad, my wife, Naomi, uh, my children, Robbie, Amelie, Freya, and Charlie, my sister, Karen, brother, Tony, and their families, and all my supporters. I wish at this time to send my condolences to the family of former Cahirlock, Councillor Porrick Brandley, on his passing over the weekend. May he rest in peace. I'd also like to remember my brother, Bobby, today. Um, and as Martin said, 1998 was was a, a difficult year in a lot of ways, um, but I will remember him today as well. I would also like to remember the late councillor, Joe Shannon. Joe is the man who is responsible for me standing here in front of you today. Um, Joe was a very, very wise man um, and very, very good to me. So I want to remember him today as well. While today is a special day for my family and I, it is a day of reflection. The last 15 months have been unprecedented unpre our communities have been closed, businesses closed, the introduction of remote learning for children and young adults. We have lost many within our communities and their families are grieving. Many of our citizens lost their jobs and are still very unsure of their future. I must pay tribute to Sligo County Council, the council staff and the volunteers within the communities which I work. Their tireless and valiant efforts over the last number of months to ensure our most vulnerable in our communities were taken care of in our darkest hours. I want to pay tribute to our frontline workers, the medical profession, those in essential retail, every single person who worked and continue to do so during this pandemic. I thank you for your heroism and for leaving your families to protect ours. But we must stand together and try to rebuild all that we've lost over the past 15 months. While I know we are not there yet, we must hold firm and rebuild together. When I stood for election, I stood to represent the people of my community of South, the and the communities of South and West Sligo. 
Therefore, it is a great honour for me now to represent the communities of County Sligo. I believe we can rebuild and we have potential to rebuild stronger than ever. In 2018, I called on Minister Humphreys to support remote working, to allow our communities here, particularly in the north, in the northwest, to build and thrive. Many discussions took place with industries, government and local business. Remote working would have to be trialled. COVID-19 showed us the importance of remote working and the importance of work-life balance. We have a huge opportunity here in the northwest to capitalise on this, and I know through enterprise hubs across our county from Ancre and South Sligo, the hub Ballantohar, to the enterprise hub in Strand Hill, I look forward to the development of further hubs across the county to support remote workers. With national recognition already given to Tubbacurry, South Sligo Smart Community for the new innovative community podcast facility, we have huge potential here in the northwest, and I, for one, will continue will ensure will, will ensure to continue to work with communities to reach this potential. I know for many of our communities the biggest issue is broadband. Therefore, I will continue to work with my fellow councillors, put pressure on our representatives of government level to deliver on this long promised rollout in County Sligo. To build our communities, we must shop local and support local. Over the last number of years, we as communities have as committees have called on our businesses to support many local events organisations and sporting facilities. But now we must work together to ensure our businesses get our full support. Therefore, to build on the Council's winter campaign to shop local, I look forward to supporting a year-long campaign to support businesses through our shop local campaign. Live local, shop local to keep jobs local. Hashtag shop Sligo. Tourism is a huge part of Sligo and at times I feel we have too many hidden gems in our county. Sligo is fast becoming the food destination of Ireland. The wonderful establishments we have here in Sligo offer the best of the best with the freshest local ingredients. The cafes, bars, restaurants and hotels are fast be being renowned, not just here in Sligo, but on a national and international basis. We must continue to build on this. We have already developed Sligo Food Trail and coupled with our many outstanding walkways and adventure sports. I would hope we can build on this over the next year. To ensure we continue to establish our place on the World Tourism map, I would ask Sligo County Council, along with Sligo Tourism, to create Sligo Day. This will see Sligo promoted through the world and trend on Twitter. Furthermore, I am hoping to see developments in 2022 with the progression of the Sligo Greenways. As a hairlock, I look forward to seeing the following significant projects completed, going to construction or being further progressed in my term. The N4, N15 Hughes Bridge project, the Colony to Castle Baldwin upgrade, Surf Centre in Strand Hill, the planning and design for the URDF Centre Block and City Campus schemes, the Eastern Garavogue Bridge, the N17 Colony to Knox scheme, to mention but a few. I recognise that these projects are extremely important, not just for the Sligo urban area or the wider county, but for the northwest region, for South Donegal, Leitrim, Roscommon, and North Mayo. These projects and others will help deliver on Sligo's designation as a regional growth centre, ensuring all of Sligo and the other areas I mentioned can be prosperous and sustainable, offering good jobs, education and quality of life balance to our children and grandchildren. I look forward also to the designation of our third level institution in Sligo, along with GMIT and Letterkenny IT, as a technological university in 2022. This will be a game changer for our region. However, as a rural councillor, I am extremely concerned with regard to the immediate challenges facing our local communities and voluntary groups in recovering after COVID. The last 15 months have been extremely difficult for them. In many cases, the council benefits from the work that these groups do in their communities, such as tidy towns groups, playground groups, burial grounds, heritage and others. I want to work with my fellow councillors and the executive over the next 12 months to see what we can do to get this sector back on its feet. Over the next 12 months, I look forward, along with Sligo County Council, to the early stages of the development of our new county development plan. I also, with my fellow councillors, will continue to support the families and communities who have been affected by pyrite. I will lead the council in calling for a 100% redress scheme for those affected here in Sligo by pyrite and to ensure a speedy outcome for all. As we know, mental health and well-being has been a struggle for many in Ireland over the past number of years. 
COVID-19 has certainly shown, shone a spotlight on isolation and loneliness. I would like to acknowledge the work of all our mental health services here in Sligo, including Sligo Leitrim Mental Health Services, Stop Suicide Prevention and Grasp Life Foundation. As a man, I understand how difficult it is for us men to talk to each other, to seek support. However, not, not all men are willing to seek help. I'm appealing to all to reach out and seek support. To support all reaching out, my intention is to organise an event to shine the spotlight on men's mental health. And I call on the support of my fellow councillors to get involved and advocate for mental health. I would like to thank Mr Tom Kilfeather for stepping up to the plate and the leadership he has shown uh, in a very difficult time for this council. You're a real leader, Tom, to us all in this chamber and throughout the council. I'd like to thank the executive and staff for the great working relationship that they have with all the councillors. And I, my hope is for that to continue throughout the next year. Kevin, you've dealt with a lot of coherent looks in your time. You have a big job on your hands this year, let me tell you. I've worn the county colours proudly for many years, and now is your cohere lock, I will continue to wear the county colours of Sligo. Today, my fellow councillors, the CEO of Sligo County Council and the executive, we will work together as a team to ensure Sligo grows and develops. And I don't know who said you can't mix football and politics. Thank you. Um, Cahirlach, um, this is a very significant day for you, Paul, for Naomi and for your, your family and your very fresh-faced parents who I met this morning. Uh, it is a great day for you all. It's a great day for Gertrude. It's a great day for your supporters and all those people that put their faith and confidence in electing you to serve uh, as a local councillor. To have been elected first citizen of our county and our civic leader on Sligo County Council, it is indeed, Paul, the highlight of a local politician's career. I am very proud, as your party colleague and friend, to see you wear the chain of office. I am more than confident, Paul, you will meet the role with honour, pride and diligence and will be an excellent Cahirlach and represent our interests, both inside and outside the county, to the best of your ability and you can be assured of my full support in any way possible. Enjoy today, Paul, with Naomi and your family, because in about 48 hours, the work starts and you'll be flat to the mat for the next year. And I hope you enjoy every second. Garamagat. Thank you, Councillor McSherry. Councillor Walsh. Uh, thanks, Gaherlach. Uh, I want to congratulate you. Um, I want to welcome your family. I spoke to your mother and father, like Tom, earlier this morning. Uh, he told me he'd much prefer to be in the Wellingtons, um, but uh, it's an honour for you uh, and your family to be elected the first citizen of the county, um, and you'll have my full support. Um, uh, my father uh, gave you a few yellow cards along the way, so I hope I don't have to continue that. Thank you, Gerlach. Thank you, Councillor Walsh. Uh, Councillor Mo Thanks. Thanks, Gerlach. Um, this is a great day for Gertrin and a great day for the people of your community. Um, Paul, I'm delighted to see you in the role as Cahirlock. It's a great day for your wife, Naomi, and your children, and great to see your mother and father here to celebrate with you today. Paul, I want to um, give you my reassurance of full support for you in your role as Cahirlock. I know you will do an excellent job. I uh, consider you, as well as a, f a fellow councillor, I consider you a friend. And any way that I can help you, I certainly will. I wish you good luck in your term. Um, the year will go speedily, and um, I know your uh, extended family will be able to celebrate. And um, I also want to pay tribute to all the people who have supported you during your political career and um, that they will continue to give you that support and I wish you well in your time as Cahirlock. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Mulvick. Councillor O'Grady. 
Uh, thank you, Cahirlook, uh, and it's with great pleasure that I congratulate you on being elected Cahirlook of Sligo County Council. Uh, we have uh, always agreed in the chamber, but maybe on the sideline as a St Mary supporter, I mightn't always have agreed with you. But uh, that's left aside. I think you will make an excellent Cahirlook. Um, you have proven that you have leadership qualities uh, in the past, and I'm sure you will bring that skill uh, to the chamber. I'm very happy to see your parents here, your father Robert and your mother Margaret. It's a very special day for them and it's special for you to have them here with you. So I welcome you wholeheartedly, Margaret and Robert, uh, to the chamber and I'm glad to see that today is a very special day for you. Uh, Naomi and family that's getting bigger by the minute since the last time I've seen them, um, I want to congratulate you because I know Naomi at first hand the support that you give Paul. Uh, so it's a very special day. Enjoy it. As a previous speaker has said, enjoy the next couple of hours, 48 hours, because after that you'll see very little of him. But well done, Paul. Thank you, Councillor O'Grady. Uh, Councillor Connolly. Um, I would too want to congratulate you, Paul, on your unanimous election here today to Cahir Look of Sligo County Council. Um, I know you, the longest uh, member of anybody in here. I know you since I, my days in Gorchin <laughs> back in the 80s, and indeed your mum and dad. Uh, I'd like to congratulate you and your wife, Naomi, and I won't go name on the kids because I'd probably make a mistake. But I hope that display of prehistoric um, animals isn't a sign of what's to come for the next year. <laughs> I want to congratulate Robert and Margaret. It's a proud day for you and a proud day for your family. And I'm going to have to say to Robert, you better get a move on that extension, Robert, because this fellow won't have time to do it from now on. So the best of luck, Paul, and congratulations. Councillor Connolly, Councillor O'Boyle. <laughs> Thank you, Chair. Congratulations on your new role. Um, it's a great day for the community of Gertrude, your family, um, your friends. I've supported you on the pitch, one of the games, watching you play with Sligo, and now I'll be supporting you as the Gaelic. And I still didn't get a call up. Thank you, Councillor O'Boyle. Still coming, don't worry. <laughs> Councillor Clark. Gaelic Taylor, it's a great honour for you to say those few words. and. Um, I know your family a long time. I knew your late brother, and uh, he worked with with Robert and uh, uh, building uh, a slatted shed for us in in, in Beltre. And uh, I know that he's with you today. And I'd like to congratulate Margaret and and Robert and your wife Naomi and family uh, for this great achievement. And uh, they will have to give you an awful lot of support for the coming year because it's a full time full time job. You are a man of consensus. You like to get agreement. Sometimes I don't like that myself, but I, you're a man that will bring councillors together for the betterment of the county. And your speech was inspiring and forward-looking and is the template of what all councillors will be working towards for the coming year. And your comments to the executive and especially to Tom Gilfeather was well warranted and well, and, and well said. Uh, we all depend on the executive here and they're uh, very helpful to us all. And anything I can do to support you as care look for the coming year, all you, you know my phone number, you ring me often enough, and I'll be there for you. Thanks, care. Thank you, Councillor Clark. Councillor Maguire. Congratulations, uh, Cahir Luck Taylor. Um, I don't quite go as far back as Councillor Connolly, but I definitely know you a long time, long before either of us ever thought of politics. Um, I'm delighted to see Robbie and Emily and Freya and Charlie, together with your mum and dad with you today. That's a formidable team alone, not to mention Charlie's impressive uh, collection of dinosaurs there. And I know that your sister and brother would love to be here too, if that was possible. And I have no doubt that Bobby is here in spirit with you. Uh, since I've known you, you've been a proud Gertrude man and an incredibly proud uh, Sligo man and a family man. Your main football, your main passion was football, as far as I was aware, until Naomi and the children came along. And then it was before you discovered politics or perhaps politics discovered you. 
Uh, you've proven yourself, has has been said, to be a leader on and off the field, uh, both in your role as player and manager for Sligo uh, County. And you're one of the few Sligo men who hold a Connacht medal, not to mention the numerous wins with Eastern Harp, which the rest of us uh, congratulate you at a distance for. Uh, you've been an incredibly popular councillor, has been proven today with the unanimous support you received. And I think it's also a reflection of the role that you play frequently in this chamber as a peacemaker, as Councillor Clark referred to, you like to get a consensus and that's um, a great ability to have and one that will lead you well, I think, into the future. You're very dedicated to your work. In fact, some very close might say you're addicted to your work, uh, but maybe that's not a bad thing in this business. As we've heard, uh, you're going to have a very busy year ahead of you. Um, you're, there's no aspect, I believe, of Sligo life that you're not interested in. And you've shown that and your ambition today in your speech, not only for the year, but for the years ahead. And I wish you very well with all of it. Thank you, Councillor Maguire. Councillor Gilroy. Paul. Cahir, look, it's a great pleasure to have you as our Cahir, look, today. I suppose I really didn't know you until you burst onto the county scene in 1993, and that's, you didn't know me, but I knew you. And when we did meet maybe eight or ten years later, when the late Joe Shannon brought you into council meetings, um, I think we've always had a, a fairly good working relationship since then. Um, what Michael Clark didn't say about your phone calls is they often come very late at night. Uh, it could be quarter past 11 or half 11 when the phone would ring and you'd say, oh, it's Paul again. So, um, look, at, I still look forward to those and, um, you know, if there's anything ever I can do, uh, I'd be glad to do it. Um, you've got the challenge now of leading Sligo out of COVID and that's going to be a huge challenge to lead Sligo out of COVID because that is what has to be done. Um, There'll be changes here in the next few months at the at the chief executive level, and that'll be a challenge to get someone new in there. But I think the biggest challenge that's going to face Sligo and Ireland in the next year and the next number of years is house building. And it's great to have a builder who actually understands it, because that's a skill that you bring to it as well. And uh, that that uh, that I'm sure you'll you'll do. Um, I think Kevin will have to make sure he takes the high vis jackets off you after each uh, event because they'll be dirty by the time they come back. The next time they'll have been used on site. So I know that your father's going to have to finish the house for you because uh, you won't be around for that. Um, it's also I suppose should be acknowledged that of all of us here, I think you got the highest vote in 2019. So it's appropriate that you should rise to the highest seat in the county. And I wish you good luck. Um, I know I'd say the chief executive over there would be happy to work beside you, but he wasn't always happy when he saw you coming at him when he was in goals. But uh, you'd, uh, I'm sure you'll, you'll treat everybody fairly for the year. And I wish you and your family the very, very best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Gilroy. Councillor Gibbons. Paul, or Paul here, I guess we have to get used to addressing you. It's, um, I want to congratulate you on the position you hold at the moment. I want to congratulate your wife, your children, your parents and extended family. And I want to assure you here it's, um, today is that you have my full support for the coming year. And if any way I can assist, and just get her into the phone or get her into the, the chamber. Congratulations, Paul. Thanks. Cahir, look, I want to congratulate you on your election. I think it's very well deserved and I wish you very, all the very best for the year. I want to congratulate Naomi and the children and Robert and Margaret. I'm supposed to say to Robert, there mightn't be many shirts on pans or blocks lifted for the year by Paul, but you'll, you'll, you'll get on with the work at the same time. As Councillor Clerk and Maguire has said, you bring consensus, and that was one of the first things I noticed about you. Where there's division, you bring consensus, and it's a great skill to have because you can use it at all types of meetings, and um, you're seen as a safe pair of hands that won't see the thing going wrong. I have no doubt you're destined for bigger things probably sooner rather than later, and I wish you luck. Look, I wish to join with my colleagues in congratulating you and wishing you well for the coming uh, year. I know it's a special day for, for, for you and your wife and your parents and your family, and indeed for your 
many supporters and those who vote for you, uh, I wish to uh, assure you my fullest cooperation over your uh, next 12 months in your period in office. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Bree. Councillor Queenan? I know you for over a quarter of a century, and I'm very happy here today for your elevation to Cahirla. Uh, I wish you every success, you know, my full backing, as you have over the years. Uh, I'm delighted to see your family here. You mentioned your late brother, Bobby. I remember them days, and um, you had your good days and your bad days. But also, I want to say, my word is my bond, so is Baker and so is Taylor. But you need courage at times to put your county first and put your council first. That had to be done in the past. You're my full support. I wish you every success. And look after Gertrude. Let's have Clark and look after West Lego. <laughs> Thank you, Councillor Green. Councillor Fox. Thank you, uh, just to congratulate you, Paul, on a proud day for you and your family. Um, you make a great career. Um, it's um, a challenging job, and I'm sure you're well able for the job. Your, your, your speech said it all. You spoke highly of the staff, and you spoke highly of uh, uh, our, our fellow members. And I wish you all the very best to you and your family. It's a proud day for your family. It's nice to see all your family there, and uh, I'll be here to support you throughout the year. Thank you. Councillor Catherley. Uh, thank you, uh, Cahir Luck Taylor. Uh, congratulations on, on on this great achievement. It's a proud day for yourself and your family. Um, I have to say, behind every every great man is is a mighty woman, um, keeping the whole show on the road as well, and great parents as well. And I have to, and of course, very understanding children, who uh, who will see even less of Daddy over the next twelve months, but they do understand that he's doing it for the right reasons. Um, I, uh, I'd like to just note the great combination that will be for the next 12 months for um, for the executive, the members and yourself and no doubt uh, Sligo will be the winner with this combination. Uh, you will continue to wear your county jersey with pride for the betterment of our, of our beautiful county um, and Gertrude will be very proud of you too as they always are. Um, I just I'd like to uh, just draw a little bit of attention to your speech and um, very very important your shop local message and we all continue to continue that message and it's great to hear your and um, the attention that you will be giving to men's mental health and it's so important and it's fantastic to hear this being highlighted and you're in a fantastic position and um, to be able to I, I suppose highlight this and to highlight it in a positive way for all so that's inspiring so um, I, and just on a personal level I'd just like to acknowledge the advice that you've given uh, my own children um, you know on days where we've met where things might not always have gone well for, for our team and you know you've always had words of advice and that's lovely a lot of people don't see it but it does mean a lot especially to the children who are trying their best um, and particularly on days when the matches don't go their way so I'd just like, you to, like to wish you the very best of luck I know that you will do a fantastic job you will bring everybody together and I do look forward to uh, to working with you um, for the next year. Well done. Thank you, Councillor Castellet. See, look, just on behalf of the staff, I want to congratulate you and, and the Taylor family today on your election as Coherlock of the Council. And as already has, has been said, you're a man who's well versed in representing and leading your county. And I have absolutely no doubt that you'll bring that same commitment, dedication and success in the role of Coherlock. And I can assure you, you will have the wholehearted support of all the staff in Sligo County Council over the next 12 months. Thank you, Coherlock. Thank you, Ms. Kilfather. Could I just sincerely thank everybody for, for your comments, all my fellow councillors and, and Mr. Kilfather. Um, I consider you all friends. Everyone here in this chamber, I consider you friends and, and, and I look forward to working with you for the betterment of Sligo in, over the next year. We are a great team in here, 99.9% .9 of the time, and we will continue to be that team over the next year. And it has been mentioned, we will hopefully be coming out of COVID and together with this council and with the executive, we will lead Sligo out of COVID. And I look forward to that and look forward to a successful year 
working alongside you all. And as I said, you're all friends in here. We will work together and we'll work on a par and on a level for the betterment of Sligo. And thank you very much. And now we'll continue with the agenda and the next item on the agenda is to elect Alaska Herlock. Um, Go Herlock. Could I nominate uh, the name of Councillor Thomas Healy for the Cahirlock? Councillor Thomas Healy was first elected in 2014 to this council. Thomas Healy is uh, a very dedicated worker to his community. That was proven within the last local elections when he was the first elected. Uh, Councillor Healy's over the years has been taught that much even within his own community and he gives a lot back into the community and so much even so and a lot of people will be aware of this that last Christmas he helped Santi do his deliveries around Kaluni and actually part of Sligo and I think myself that anybody gives their time the what he gives it uh, that he has given it that I think myself really deserves the position of, Cahir of Vice Governor of but the other aspect and the most important end of this the agreement that was made, it was Sinn Féin that was supposed to have that position uh, this term, and I would ask it to be honoured that... Pardon? Which? Sorry. But I propose the name of Councillor Thomas Ailey. Thank you. Councillor Bree. Here, look, I wish to uh, second the proposal of my colleague, Councillor Gibbons, that uh, Councillor Healy be uh, elected as last Cahir. Look, uh, Councillor Healy is seven years in this council and he certainly is fairly experienced uh, and a popular elected public representative. Formally second the motion. Uh, Councillor Baker. I'd like to propose the name of Councillor Donald Gilroy as Laska here. Look, Donald is a tirelessly working man for his community, and I have the privilege of posting him. Thank you. Councillor Queenan. Okay, members, we have we have uh, two nominations for uh, the position of Laska here. Look. Um, we will be we will be taking a vote without any further ado. Kevin. Yeah. I'll ask Kevin to proceed. Okay. Councillor Baker. Councillor Bree. Councillor Casserly. Okay. Oh, fine, okay. Um, Councillor Clark. Uh, Councillor Gilroy. Councillor Connolly. Councillor Gilroy. Councillor Fox. Uh, Councillor Gilroy. Councillor Gibbons. Councillor Healy. Councillor Gilroy. Councillor Gilroy. Councillor Healy. Councillor McSherry. Councillor Gilroy, Councillor Maguire, Councillor Milani, Councillor Mulvey, Councillor Gilroy, Councillor O'Boyle, Councillor O'Grady, Councillor Queenan, Councillor Taylor, and Councillor Walsh. Councillor Gilroy. Thank you. There were four votes for Councillor Healy and 13 votes for Councillor Gilroy. So I now deem Councillor Gilroy elected as, as last Cahirlock. Congratulations. Thanks very much, Cahirlock. Um, yeah, and uh, thanks to everybody in the room. Um, it's, it's, I suppose, a little bit unusual to do a, a double run, but uh, that's the way that, that things were lined out. Um, I, I suppose um, 
if you need me at any stage during the year, I never thought I'd be called on for a sub to replace Taylor, but uh, uh, I hope I'd do slightly better in here than I would on the pitch. <laughs> but uh, look, at, um, if I'm needed at any time, I'm there. Uh, the last year was challenging for, for both Dara and myself that really anything that, that came up had to be done in, in such a socially distant way that it had to be done. So I hope in the coming months that uh, We'll be we'll be finding that it'll be a more open society and that you'll get to, to be available for a lot more events and that hopefully I'll get to maybe one or two as well. And if things change at a national level, you might get distracted and have to go off and do other business. But uh, um, I'll, I'll be there to stand in until your replacement. Thank you. Councillor Gilroy, Councillor Healy. First of all, I want to thank uh, Councillor Gibbons and Councillor Reeve for opposing me. And uh, I want to thank uh, Councillor Gilroy. I want to wish you the best of luck. Uh, I will be supporting you, no more than yourself, uh, uh, Coreyrock. I suppose the most important thing out of all this is that we, and we go back to it, it's agreements, it's words, it's bonds. That's what we're on. That's why that I was put forward here today because that was an agreement. I'm disappointed with Fianna Fáil and the independents that they didn't stick to the word. But as I says, moving forward, that's life. That's what you make out of life. But it's important to the general public out there and especially the young people coming up that your word is the most important thing that you'll ever have in life. Your name and your word. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Walsh. Our councillor Healy, my apologies. Um, I, I, I'd just like to just join with colleagues in, in, in congratulating Councillor Gilroy. Uh, knowing your record, Cahirlock, I don't think Councillor Gilroy will have many opportunities of, of taking the chair, but I have no doubt that in the event of you being absent that uh, Councillor Gilroy will do a very good job. And uh, Again, he's a relatively newly elected councillor, but he certainly comes across as someone who's been here, you would think, for 20 or 25 years. Thank you. Thanks, Councillor B. Councillor Walsh? Uh, yeah, I too want to join um, what was said. Um, I want to congratulate Councillor Gilroy, and um, I, I wish him well. He'll have our full support. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Cahirlik. Uh, yes, I wish um, uh, your last Cahirlik, Councillor Gilroy, um, the very best if needed. Uh, you have a very able uh, uh, number two, and as has been stated, um, Councillor Gilroy, uh, while he's a relatively new councillor, he has, I would have to say, an excellent grasp of local politics and is an excellent representative for his area. And I've no doubt, if needed, he will represent us um, to the best of his ability uh, at, um, at um, county level. Um, I just uh, would have to say I would take issue, it's not for today, and I don't want to distract from your day, but I would take issue with certain comments made by Sinn Féin. We can deal with those again. Thank you, Carolyn. Um, just uh, look, uh, Taylor, I would like to congratulate my colleague, um, Councillor Gilroy, and has been said um, he is an excellent representative for his area and has a great grasp of, of local government. So I, I think you both will make uh, a very good team and the best of luck to both of you. Just to wish uh, our congratulate uh, Councillor Gilroy and his term as last Cahirlock. And we um, we fought the battle in, in our municipal areas and uh, we always have great respect for each other. So I wish them all the very best. I wish, I wish Councillor Gilroy a great success. As you say, you make a great sum. Mm. You're in trouble, Councillor Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. Cahirlock, yeah, just... Um, Again, uh, concurring what people have said, I want to wish uh, Councillor Gilroy um, the best of luck in his year ahead as last year. Look, um, I found Donald very obliging, very helpful, and always at the end of the phone. So I know you'll make a great team together. So congratulations, Donald. Go here, look, I'd like to congratulate uh, Councillor Gilroy. I think this was after 12 months' experience. <laughs> 11 out of 12, you know exactly what the job is about. And I'd also like to say in relation to any comments that was made here by Sinn Féin today, you might take exception with them. 
but they are fact. Nobody can hide from the truth. Thank you very much, Mr. McSharry. So, thank you. Look, uh, I'd just like to also uh, congratulate Councillor Gilroy, and, and uh, he has done a great job, and I have no reason to believe that he won't do a good job for the year ahead. And it's good to see a balanced team, one from south and west and the north, representing the county, and it's nice to see that spread. And uh, I wish both of you well as a team. Yeah, here, look.